I'm pretty fast on the ice. If he doesn't play in the NHL, he's going to be a brain surgeon. It's amazing. His mind, his pattern work, he's able to go every which way without thinking about it, and that's a goal. Jeremiah is not afraid to get physical. He goes in there, he gets in the mix, he just goes and battles hard. Hi, my name's Jeremiah Landrum. My favorite sport is hockey, and I'm seven years old. My strongest strength is skating. His company got tickets to the Florida Panthers game, and he took us all as a family. And right when the game started, Jeremiah looks up at us and says, I want to play this. I was like, well, I learned to skate first. Let's start there. And we started him in group skating lessons at age three. And it was figure skating group lessons at first. And there was one night we went, and there was a hockey group of kids. And he completely skips his skating, like his figure skating group, and just zooms to the hockey group of kids. And it was with Coach Carey, and Coach Carey's like, We'll let him stay and see how he does. She comes up at the end and says, he can stay, get him all the, the pads. That's probably my favorite video mm -hmm. so far is him getting on the ice for the first time and, and really being a part of the hockey team. That was neat. You want to show them Superman Tootsie Roll? This is the way we unwind our brain in the morning. Load your rocket, load your rocket. We are at Palm Beach Skate Zone in Lake Worth, Florida. It's amazing. We have three sheets here. I'm from Massachusetts and where I live, we have rinks everywhere, but very few have more than one sheet. I've been working with Coach Carey for four years. I like her because she's a good coach and she's funny. <laughs> Two, one, blast off. Go hard, skate, 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 skate. Superman, Tootsie Roll, up, 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 up. Thank you. Our main focus is getting him to turn in every which direction possible. Falling, getting up, 360s, all edge quality when we want slides and don't want slides. And that's our goal, it's faster, better. Jeremiah is serious, but it's in his heart. I have a lot of young kids that the parents want it for them and they keep pushing, pushing. Jeremiah, is, it's like a free spirit. He comes out here, we leave the world out there and he just comes and plays with his edges. It's really beautiful. Hockey is unique where you can practice off the ice on your stick handling skills or whatnot, but when you're on the ice, you got to really devote and commit to it. And so you've really seen him go for the skating lessons and the hockey lessons. Anytime he's on the ice, he really does the full, I'm going to take it to the next level, I'm going to go really hard. As he learns this new skill, you'll see it in the game. Jeremiah's creativity level is just off the charts for his age. He's well beyond his years. I've known Coach Matthew for three years. He's fun, he's funny, <laughs> he's excited. Okay, so you're gonna come forward, you're gonna accept the pass. Go ahead, right to the middle. He doesn't get down on himself at all. It's always next one up, next one up. He's a go-getter, he just goes, goes, goes all the time. Some of my favorite drills are shooting, skating, and passing. So this is his first season playing 10 and under and so far he's done incredible. He keeps up with everybody. He doesn't play afraid. He goes and gets the puck. The 10-year-olds are tough. They go after the puck immediately and they take really hard shots. We were able to go to Canada recently and you know, South Florida going up to Canada, we were a little nervous about the level of play and how he could compete. He stuck to his game and, and uh, was able to do phenomenal in the tournaments they had. They won one team won and got second place in the other tournament. And he just, he was able to keep up that same level of play with the, even the higher level players. You know, most kids when they're young and at that age when you're starting, they're watching like YouTube videos of toys or, you know, different, you know, kid things. And he was asking for NHL videos and he would sit there and just watch them and analyze them. And next thing you know, you'd see him doing that on the ice. Yeah, they call it hockey IQ, but it's mm -hmm. kind of what he had from the very beginning. You know, I think it's just his analytical mind. We, when we go to the Panthers games, instead of getting distracted by the mascot or anything else going on, he'll be watching the players and how they did the movements. It's just amazing to see that brain work. My favorite hockey player is Alexander Barkov. He's the captain of my favorite team, the Panthers. He's a center and I'm also a center. I model my game after Alexander Barkov. I think he would probably be closely represented to Alexander Barkov. He's a playmaker, loves making passes. He takes his shots when he needs to and creates a lot of plays just like Alexander Barkov does.
Yeah, there, there's been a couple of big moments in, in his hockey life, but it's, it's the sum of the small ones for me. You know, it's where he gets off the ice and says, hey, did you see my pass? Or I love it when he goes back and, and does defense as well as offense, and he recognizes that and how important it is. It's just, that's that's what makes me the, the proud out of the moment. He's, he gets so, like, hyper-focused sometimes, but then yet still all of a sudden the seven-year-old comes out, and he still makes it lighthearted and fun. I saved you a spot. <laughs> <laughs> a little smirk. That's important. He takes enough breaks for hockey, I think, to, to have a little bit of time off. Jeremiah's always been a very active kid. You know, he and his older sister are always playing either on the trampoline or, you know, he's not never afraid to try a different sport. You know, I, I, ice hockey is his, his purpose and his passion, but he's just always always goofing around, jumping around at the house, and he's a nonstop active kid. We do family floor hockey, playing basketball. I remember when it was like a hoverboard party. We're just constantly doing things, and as a family too, which is really fun for the five of us. No days off means no days off from hockey, skating, and yeah. You just get to sit here and look pretty. Yeah. <laughs>